Hello children, my name is Angela and welcome to another session of science. Today we shall learn about the human body, our health, hygiene, safety and the first aid. Now you see a man who doesn't have proper food and shelter and lives in unhealthy surroundings. He is prone to diseases and visits the doctor quite often. Look at this person who lives in healthy surroundings taking good food and doesn't need a doctor. From this we understand that a proper working of the body depends on health. A healthy mind in a healthy body makes a human being perfect. Health and hygiene keep the body in a fit condition. When all the parts of a car work in coordination with each other, the car moves forward without any problem. Even if a single part doesn't function properly, the car needs to be repaired. So also parts of the body must function together to have a healthy body. What is blood? Blood is life-giving and circulates through the entire body. Blood carries waste materials from different parts of the body to the kidneys. Kidneys are excretory organs. They send out waste materials from the body. Skin is the outer cover of the body. It protects the body and is excretory in function. Sweat comes out of the body through the sweat pores present on the skin. Brain, spinal cord and nerves form the nervous system. It is responsible for all the sensation in the body. We see how a child reacts to sense of touch and also the reaction to the poke in the eye. Brain sends signals to the different parts of the body which act through the nervous system. Coal is burnt in a steam engine to produce energy. This energy helps the train to run on the track. As we all know our body consists of many organs which are made up of a number of cells which work in coordination with each other. Each cell needs food, oxygen and other substances to do its work. When the cell is doing its work, food is burnt to provide energy. This energy is supplied to all parts of the body through blood. The food we eat is digested in the elementary kennel which is the intestine. This digested food is supplied from the intestine to the other parts of the body. Why did the child faint? He could not breathe as the nose was blocked. We can't live without breathing. We need fresh air containing oxygen. We breathe through our nose and oxygen enters the lungs and then it is supplied to the other parts of the body. When cells work, food is burned to provide energy. In this process, waste products such as carbon dioxide is produced in the cells. These waste products like carbon dioxide should be sent out of our body. As most of the cells are situated deep in the body, they cannot directly send the waste materials out of the body. They should be transported to body parts such as lung, kidney and skin which can send waste products out of the body. See the contractions and the relaxation of the heart. When the heart contracts, it pumps blood to the various parts of the body through the blood vessels. This contraction and relaxation of the heart takes place as long as we live. Heart is the chief organ of the circulatory system. Circulatory system transport food and oxygen to all parts of the body. Food is digested in the elementary kennel. It also enters the blood through the walls of the intestine. When we breathe, the air enters the lungs and oxygen is distributed throughout the body and carbon dioxide is collected from various parts of the body and sent to the lungs. Energy is required by the body for its activities. It is obtained by oxidizing the food. 
This process is called oxidation. During oxidation, waste materials are formed and it is harmful if they remain in the body.